I woke up around 1 o'clock this morning and I started thinking about my day and what I need to do. And um, I realized that I had a pretty, pretty hectic day today. And um, I felt we might as well get a jump started and get some of these tedious tags out the way, like go to the bank or whatever. So I decided to take the bike instead of driving a car, which actually worked out in my favor because they're doing construction on railroad tracks. So I'm pedaling and I get to the bank and I cross the railroad tracks and, you know, go through the caution tapes and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I deposit the money. Now, my bank is in a predominantly white town that's about two miles away from here. And because I'm not used to riding a bike, I was pretty tired, especially with the big ass half a mile or quarter mile incline that I had to do. So I decided to walk up the hill instead of try to pedal up the hill. So as I'm walking up the hill, I notice a car coming towards me and I realize that it's a cop. And uh, he slows down, he pulls up to the side of me and, you know, I looked at him and I started going into my cooling phase because I realized I'm not looking the best and I know that I'm in not the perfect attire and I'm not in the right town. I get all that shit. So I started putting my cooling face, you know. Um, so he said, hey, how you doing? What's, uh, what's wrong with the bike? And I said, nothing. You know, he said, uh, why are you walking? I was like, because I'm tired and, you know, it's a big hill right here. He said, oh, okay. He said, where are you headed? I said, home. He said, where's home? I said, Patterson. He said, where are you coming from? I said, the bank right across his railroad tracks. And he was like, all right, cool. All right, man, have a good one. I said, you too. So he drives off. And I know he has to turn around because he can't go that way because of the railroad track and construction. So as he's passing me, I get the feeling I'm going to see this motherfucker again, you know, so... I'm thinking of what I should do, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and utilize this hill because it's also a decline, and that would have got me home far more faster, so I decided to take the decline. <laughs> Apparently, the wheels start turning his motherfucker's head because he gets where he's dr He's in a fucking car. I'm on foot walking up at the at, uh, uh, incline. There's no fucking way that he should have been behind me when I got to the light, but sure as shit stink. When I got to the light to make my left turn, he's behind me, all right? So I stop. I completely stop because I get what he's trying to do, right? And I'm not going to give him any type of probable cause to want to pull me over and to tame me and all this bullshit. So I stop and I wait for him to pull up. And um, he was like, hey, uh, doing all right? And I said, yeah, I'm doing cool. I'm doing real good right now. He said, like, oh, okay. He said, um, where you head again? I said, home. And I gave him my exact address. He said, oh, right across the bridge. I said, not really right across the bridge. He said, yeah, give it to you. So he looks forward, and he's you know, waiting, trying to find some probing questions. So I'm just sitting there being quiet. And he said, and uh, you're coming from the bank, right? I said, yeah, Wells Fargo, right across the, rail the, the railroad tracks. He said, and how did you get across all that? I said, oh, I just walked through. He said, it's not fully blocked off. I said, no, you got caution tapes. You can go through the caution tapes and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, okay. And you just carried your bike or something? I said, yeah, you yeah. know. Okay. <clears throat> and um, he was like, so uh, you got any ID? I said, yes. Just like that, yes. Yeah. And he was like, aren't you hot and all that stuff? And I said, yeah, a little, but I'm trying to lose weight. He's like, oh, where's your, where's your gym? I said, off of Fairlawn Avenue. He said, on Fairlawn Avenue, where? And I said, no, no, off Fairlawn Avenue, right on Palat. The retro fitness. And he was like, oh, okay, okay, got it. I, I know where that gym is. I said, yeah, okay. Then he was like, what's in the bag? I said gym shit. I'm just staring at him. And he looks again, look ahead again, and um, he's like giving me the moment to uh, release my rights to him, <laughs> you know, and allow him to run my fucking license and to search my fucking bag, which I'm not about to do, but I'm not going to be, you know, indignant about it either. So he says, well, there's been a lot of. Um, car burglaries in his area, his probable cause, right? And uh, he's just trying to make sure the streets are safe. I said, I get that, officer. I get that. He said, all right, you have a good one. I said, all right, cool. He drives off. I get he was Rachel profiling. Okay? I get that this was not really the ideal situation for me. I get that as well. But I also get that he is the authority figure, and I'm not... And I'm not particularly the nicest looking character in that area. Although I have every right to be an asshole and to be a jerk and stuff like that, 
It's far simpler to just answer a few questions than to sit on a goddamn curve for four fucking hours waiting for the next patrol car to come up to ask me the same fucking questions the last two people asked me. Sometimes, it's just better to go home. Just saying.